Welcome back to Educator.com's English Grammar course. This lesson is on pronoun agreement and reference. Let's get started. All right, we're going to begin with a brief review of the kinds of pronouns that you find in English, just to make sure you haven't forgotten anything. Then we're going to look at pronoun agreement, how to make sure your pronouns agree with the nouns that they're replacing. We're going to look at compound antecedents, collective and other singular nouns, indefinite pronouns, and generic nouns. Then we're going to look at unclear references, where you use a pronoun and people aren't really sure what it's replacing. Uh, we're going to look specifically at ambiguous reference, so, you know, it could be this or it could be that. Uh, vague antecedents, where it's just so fuzzy you have no idea. A and overly broad reference. And then we're going to do some practice. All right, just to review, pronouns take the place of nouns in English. They stand in for them. Personal pronouns refer to people. I, me, he, she, him, all that good stuff. Possessive pronouns indicate ownership. Mine, your, his. Reflexive pronouns indicate that the person performing an action is also receiving it. You may remember these are the self pronouns. Myself, yourself, herself. Relative pronouns introduce subordinate clauses. So we're looking at that and which and that whole family. Demonstrative pronouns point to specific nouns. This, that. These, those. Indefinite pronouns refer to nonspecific people or things. Somebody, anybody, everyone, all that good stuff. And interrogative pronouns introduce questions. Who, what, when, where, why. Pronouns do the job of nouns except for possessive pronouns, which do the job of adjectives. So he is my friend. He is a personal pronoun. And my is a possessive pronoun. That dog is hers, possessive again. Several children have the chicken pox, and, uh, where it's functioning as an adjective, not a pronoun. And there are several left. There it is functioning as a pronoun. It's replacing something else. There are several somethings left. So some pronouns can do the job of adjectives temporarily, but they kind of stop being pronouns at that point.